Hi, in this video, we want to talk about how to split our data into three sets, the training set, the validation set, and the test set. So please stay tuned. Suppose that we have 400 pieces of data and we want to split them into three sets, the training set, the validation set and the test set. In order to do so, we should use a two-step process. The first step is to divide the 400 data into two sets, the main set and the test set. And as you can see, the main set include the training set and the validation set. So the first step is to split our data into two sets, the main set and the test set. And then in the second step, we are going to split our main set into two sets, training set and the validation set. Now let's do it in Python programming language with the sklearn package. As you can see, we have read our data set, which the link of this data set is in the description below. And now we want to split our data into train, test and validation. First of all, we should import a function in the sklearn package. So we simply type from sklearn dot model selection import train test split function and then we use train test split function and we should pass our x and y because we want to divide our x and y into two sets and the test size is 50 because you want to consider 50 data points for the test size and the remaining i mean the rest for the main set so it returns four values which are x main x test y main and y test respectively and now it's time to divide the main set into two sets the training set and the validation set in order to do so we use the train test split function and we should pass x main and y main because we want to split the main set into two sets and we want to specify test size equals to 50 because we want to consider 50 data points for the validation set and the rest for the training set and this train test split function returns four values which you want to name them x train x val y train and y val respectively and also remember that if you want to use a stratified sampling you should just specify stratify equals to y because here in the first train test split you are using x and y so the stratify is going to be y but here in the second train test split function, if you want to use a stratified sampling, you should specify a stratify equals to y main because in this function, you are using y main. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.